What's going on, everyone? My name's Keegan, and today I'm excited to share that the newest version of Weffle Interactions is here. Not only is it powered by GSAP, which is my favorite animation library for the web, but it has a completely new experience that makes building complex multi-step interactions faster and more intuitive than ever. I'm really pumped about the horizontal timeline and how easy it is to create things like stagger effects, but there's so much more to explore here. It starts rolling out today, and it'll be available to everyone by the end of the month, so stay tuned for updates from our team. So to give you a little bit of inspiration, I wanted to share some builds by a few of my favorite creators who are part of the beta. This first example by Bjorn has some really fun explorations of stagger effects. I love how the text is animating in and then transitioning down to the bottom left of the page. And you'll also see some stagger effects on the text in the nav bar. I just really like the theme of exploration going on here. We've got the spaceman looking out at space, and it's just a lot of fun. This second example is by one of my favorite designers of all time, Joseph Berry. It has an elevated experience. It feels luxurious. It feels fresh. It has an orange creamsicle kind of color palette. I'll go ahead and refresh to get the page load animation. Lots of nice stagger effects, text moving all over the place, images starting from the middle and then going over to the right side here. And it's a really nice contextual effect because as I scroll, those images are going to animate to different locations as well. And I just like all the tasteful scroll interactions that helps the user feel like they're having an elevated experience on the web. And then you're also seeing the text here stagger. You're seeing it scale. You're seeing it move from the middle to the top. So a ton of really thoughtful and subtle design choices here by Joseph Berry. And the last thing I'll draw your attention to over here is on the left sidebar, as we're hovering, we're getting a text staggered kind of gradient or a color change, or maybe it's opacity he's using here. And then also that white underline is animating from a width of 0 to 100%. And also, we're getting a visual that pops in and out as well. The third example here comes from Gabe at Modify. It's Mike Evans Crane. Wow, so nice page load animation here. It feels simple and crisp. I can see everything that's going on, and everything is staggering in. But under the hood, it's pretty complex to build these things. And I would imagine having the horizontal timeline makes this way easier. And as I hover, you know, one is expanding and the other is contracting. So really cool contextual animation there. And then as I continue scrolling, we're getting a scale effect on this CTA image for let's get to work, you know, let's chat here. And what I like about this one is that it feels like a practical example of how you might use the new Webflow interactions to create really tasteful and almost like surprising and delightful animations. And for a little Easter egg in the top left, if we hover over the crane illustration, it just starts swinging. And it's these little Easter eggs that kind of provide some surprise and delight that makes a website just more fun to use. So dive into our announcement blog to see the full scope of what's available today and what's coming soon. So thank you for watching, and we can't wait to see what you build next.